Hi Cricut friends, my name is Chris with Daily Dose of DIY and today I'm going to show you how to make these fun 3D paper snowflakes with your Cricut. This is a great craft to get your kids involved in. It's fun and simple and easy to make. So let's get to it. You're only going to need a few simple things to do this craft. Um, cardstock. I'm going to make one in a light blue. You can choose any color you like. Of course, blues and whites are the funnest. You want a heavy duty solid core cardstock. I am using, camera's a little off here. I'm using um, 80 pound cardstock. I made my prototype, my first one, with, now it's all tangled, with 65 pound cardstock. So it is. You could use that, but it's a little flimsy. So the best result is to use 80 pound or higher. This one's nice and sturdy. You're also going to want some string to hang it with, and then we're going to need some quick dry tacky glue. I always use a quick dry, but um, tacky glue or craft glue will work. And then you'll want a your light blue card mat. This is for construction paper, cardstock, and that kind of stuff, or a well-worn green mat. Um, a brand new green mat might tear your cardstock. And of course, you're going to need the SVG file for this, which I have free and available for you to use. Let me switch my screen. I'll show you how to get that really quick. First, you're going to want to I will link, of course, all this in the description down below, uh, the materials you need and how to get this SVG file. So follow the link to get your free SVG file. There is a quick video that shows you how my free library works. You click on get my free SVGs and just fill in your first name, email, and then click send my password and we'll send it right to you immediately to your email. That will link you up to this page. This is my free resource library. It looks like I'm already logged in, um, but it will prompt for a password. So just use that password we emailed you to. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's free for you to use. I've got cheat sheets, time and temp sheets, all kinds of SVG files. I made this one easy. This is our 2021 series of the 12 days of Christmas. And so this one right now is on top, 3D paper snowflake. You just click. Where it says yeah, it says click here to download so click it and the download will automatically happen if you have a Chrome browser you see that download happening right down there if you have edge or something else you might get a pop-up I will link you um, more in the description on different things different types plus I also have this guidebook my best-selling guidebook conquer your Cricut it shows you how to get SVG files it has, shows you how to do everything with your Cricut on uh, Mac, PC, or iOS, Apple products. So let's go back to here. I am going to, once you, actually let's go back to our screen. Once you get that SVG, you wanna put it into design space. I need to move my cameras out of the way. So we're just gonna click upload. I already have it in here, but of course to get it um, originally you would upload image and then just drag that file that downloaded on into there. After you unzip it, SVG files come zipped, so you're going to want to unzip it first. And the, Again, I have all that instructions in my guidebook or I will link you up to some different videos and tutorials for that. So once it's in design space, select and add to canvas. Now this will make a snowflake that is about here they are it's about four to five inches tall so if you want to change the size you can go ahead and do that make them smaller or make them bigger I'm just gonna stick with the kind of medium sized everything is ready to go for you from here like I said I we make it easy so you can just click the make it button it will sort your mats I have a little controller I need to get out of my way if you have 12 by 12 card stock, it will go on one sheet. I have some of this eight and a half by 11 I want to use up. So I'm just going to click on this down menu and select eight and a half by 11. That will move this size onto two sheets, which is fine. And then we're going to click continue. 
If you have a Cricut Explorer, go ahead and turn your dial to custom. If you have one of the maker machines, it is, of course, going to take a hot minute to connect. I'm connecting via Bluetooth, um, but it will automatically, once it connects, come up with those list of materials that we can choose from. Here we go. And if your Explorer is set to the custom dial, you'll see this screen also. I have it favorited, but to find it, you click Browse All Materials, and then you can just search Cardstock. We've got a bit of a lag going on here. I'm going to move my little camera thing out of the way again, and we should see a medium cardstock right here that is 80 pounds, so I'm going to select that, and done. Okay, now we're ready to go back and load up our mat. It's eight and a half by 11. Like I said, if um, you have 12 by 12, that's fine too. It shows the orientation. Go back to my screen. You can see how it shows the orientation is this way. So that's how we want to load the paper on our mat. And I'm just gonna line it up in the corner here and get it straight and then smooth it down. Once that is done, slip the mat in under these two tabs and then click the arrow button. It will load your mat and then the C button will start flashing here in a second. There it goes. Click that and Cricut will start cutting this for you. Like I said, I have eight and a half by 11, so this is going to cut on two mats. So instead of boring you to death and letting you watch Cricut do its thing, I will be back after it's cut and I will show you how to, sorry, something looked weird there. I will show you how to get it off your mat and put it together. Okay, it has finished cutting the second sheet, so I'm just gonna push this flashing arrow button and it's going to unload my mat for me. Then we will slide my Cricut out of the way. The best way to get this off, paper is easy to tear, but flip it over and bend your mat backwards gently. You don't wanna force really hard and you don't want to um, bend it really tight. You could break your mat, but it is best to just gently peel it off. Looks like some spots are stuck. I'm getting the background off and you can see the snowflakes are starting to pop too. So it makes it just a nice easy way to get it off without tearing. Of course you still want to be gentle. It could tear. I tore um, one of the first snowflakes I took off. But once it's assembled, I don't think it will be easy to see. If you have bits left on your mat, it might be hard to see the blue on the blue, but I just take my scraper and get them off and then put your protective sheet back on it. I don't know where mine went right now though. So we'll do that later. And then we just need to untangle the snowflakes from the paper. There's one. And the other. Once you break them free, you'll notice there are perforated lines right there you can see in the camera that lead up to the circle. So that is where we are going to fold just along that little perforation. And we're going to fold them in half. like so. So you will have, I did the first two while my second mat was cutting, so you'll have four snowflakes folded in half. This is really a fun craft to do with the kids. You cut them out and get them ready for you and then just turn your kids loose, make some fun cricket Christmas memories and make some decorations for your tree. Of course, they might glue themselves together, but that's part of the fun, right? Okay, so now I have, I'm taking my snowflake that's folded in half. Let me scooch over a little bit. Hold on just a second. Okay, now I'm more in camera view. So, snowflake is folded in half. We're gonna take our tacky glue 
and just go down the center and each little snowflake bit you don't need a whole lot on just kind of glide the glue on all the spaces Once you have that done, my hole is on top, the hole that's cut out, so you want to make sure the next one you glue, the hole lines up with that. You put it on the top, and you can open it now if it would be easier, but we are going to line one side up of one snowflake with the other. And I'm using a high tack glue, so you have a couple of seconds to move it around if you need to, but you also need to be a little bit quick. Once they're lined up and together, I just like to give it another fold so they're folded together and glued really well down that line. And then when you open it up, you can see half of our snowflake is done. So now I'm going to glue again on this side, all the way down all the little bits that are sticking out. And then take the next one, make sure the hole is up and it line, your holes there are still up and we line it up. You can open them if you want and put those two sides together. Lining up each end and each little snowflake part. Once that is done, and of course if you're a little off, didn't stick too well. That's why I like to refold at the end and push them together. If you're a little off, the card stacks the same color on the other side, so nobody will really know. Okay, so now we have three sides done. See how that's going together? And then we put our last one on. Adding our last snowflake, but we still have one more glue after this one. Being sure my hole is at the top. This is the one I tore getting off, but I think, let's see the tear there. I think once it's glued on, it will be fine. Nobody will know. I think it's a little bit harder to line up when it's torn though, but it's all good. We got this. you can't even tell where it's torn anymore. So don't be afraid or be discouraged if you get a little rip. I'm just gonna make sure they're glued again nice and tight down the center. And then we fold these last two together. So we have our three sides of the snowflake here that we've already glued. That one didn't line up very good at all. Let me try to move them. <laughs> and then we're going to take yes, these two sides. I was trying to unglue what I already did and put them together. So go down the center again. And then line up and put your last two sides together. Kind of already stuck on one side. I need him to move over. Once they're the last one's always got to be difficult. Fold it to the opposite direction to make sure they're in there. 
good. And then you can fold it back. So now once you unfold them all, you have the four sides of your 3D snowflake. Isn't that fairly simple? I didn't even glue my hands together or anything. And it goes pretty quick. For to hang it, you can use any kind of ribbon or rope. I've got this baker's twine type stuff. It's a little raggedy on the ends though, so I'm going to tape the ends to make it go through a little bit easier. That is a tip I learned from one of our Cricut Crackers Club members when we were doing string beads for one of our monthly projects. I have a subscription box for Cricut Crafters. If you're interested in that, I can send you a link. I've got some gift subscriptions available now, but um, we'll be opening to new members in the new year, so I can send you a link for the wait list. Then once your string is through, tape makes it just go through so much easier than dealing with all those loose ends. Tie it in a knot. Scissors are not getting sharp. Cut off pieces and we're done. Let me switch again. There, I went to me. I think, am I stuck? There we go. And that is how you make a 3D snowflake. Super fun and easy and festive with your Cricut cutting machine. Make sure to like and subscribe for more fun Cricut crafts. We're doing 12 days of paper crafts with our Cricut this year for 2021. And I will see you tomorrow with a new craft.